Jesus got a hold of my life and he won't let me go. John, 1 John 4 uh, verse 14 says, And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Talking about Jesus. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. Verse 19 says, We love him because he first loved us. My granddaughter, my wife asked my granddaughter, she says, Why are you carrying that cross? Why are you doing it? She says, Because I want everybody to know I love Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves us, and we love him because he first loved us. Have you ever experienced that presence? And when he gets a hold of you, you can say, like Dallas Holmes said in the old song, Jesus got a hold of my life, and he won't let me go. Praise God. I I, I remember walking down the aisle at 14 and 19, said to got baptized. Then I remember drinking, started drinking at 1917. Then I walked down the aisle and received the salvation, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And then I went even, I remember buying a Dallas Home album. This is the 1978 or 79. Or, I listened to those songs and Lord, and then falling into sin. And going back and forth like this for 10 years, Drank for 12 years till 1988. And I said, Lord, if can you still love me? Let me know. And Jesus' love got a hold of me. And he won't let me go. And I wanted to stand up and shout. We got to tell every. We need to tell everybody about this Jesus. I remember one, I, uh, one night worshiping, just worshiping the Lord in his presence. Say, so I go where you want me to go, Lord. I do what you want me to do. And it come to me in my heart, like the Lord said, I want you to go down to this Best Western Lounge, this bar where we, I used to drink and hang out. I said, Lord, I'll go. If that's what you want me to do, I'll go. And the Lord let me know that there was somebody there. He wanted me to, I thought he wanted me to get on the dance floor and preach. And I said, I don't care if I go to jail. I'll tell him. He said, there's somebody used to know me. I want you to tell him I still love them and they need to come back to me before it's too late. That was my message. So I went there and I walked in. I had a big old Bible. It was bigger, bigger than this one. It was one my brother gave me. I was going to carry it in. But I, something told me not to. I just carried some Bible books. And I walked in there. And I sat down. And they were playing this to me. But the Holy Spirit, I was so... I'm not trying to exaggerate. or I'm just saying the presence of God was on me so much. I was... So removed, not tempted by anything, just on a mission from God. I, and I'm not saying I've been there, been tempted since, but that, that I'm talking about that night. And they were playing one song after. I remember the music they were playing. I recognized many of the songs, and I, but I was so in love, and I said, I can't believe I used to like that stuff. <laughs> that was my thoughts. I'm not making it up. But I kept doing it. And then the Lord finally said, move over to the other side. So I got up and walked over. And there was this lady and her husband. And they said, hello, Topper. And the Lord said, that's them. And I used to go over to their house. And I did a lot of sinful things in my life. And they would play Elvis records. And it's the first thing they said, are you still an Elvis freak? And I said, no, I'm a Jesus freak. And she said, oh, we done been down that road. Think about what the Lord told me. Somebody used to know me, but now they've gone away. They need to come back to me before it's too late. And I looked at her husband and I said, I got saved. Jesus has changed my life. I was home praying tonight and the Lord told me to come up here and to tell someone that he still loves you and you need to come back to him before it's too late. And he said, I, you can believe whatever you want to believe. And I, after I said that, I got up and I left. I knew I did. But said on and on, the Lord, Jesus, has got a hold of my life. I just want the world to know I love Jesus. And we've got to do, we've got to stay in the Word. We've got to stay filled with the Spirit. 
We've got to go out and keep sharing the love of Jesus. The devil's going to attack you with thoughts, maybe people, to get you to stop to get you to back in, fall away from, and stop fighting the good fight of faith, to lose that first love. But pray. <laughs> Seek God's face every day. God is faithful. I found out something. Like Paul said, In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body? I thank God through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Jesus, holy, His Holy Spirit, He fills you with His Spirit. And the first fruit of the Spirit is love. God is love. He loves us with an everlasting love. And with loving kindness, He draws it, draws us. It, don't be moved away from the simplicity of the gospel. Just picture if Jesus walked in at Dallas home, had a song, said, I saw the Lord, the presence of the Lord. I felt it so strong. It was like Jesus just walked in the room. His Holy Spirit, Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Praise God. He's with us, but he's in heaven. How can that be? I don't understand it, but I believe it. And we have his word. His word is a light, a lamp unto my feet. Praise God. Jesus got a hold of my life, and he won't let me go. I pray for you. I want you to know Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He's got a plan. We're in a war. We're in a fight. So keep fighting the good fight of faith. As long as we keep the faith, if you fail, repent, get back up, and keep going with Jesus. Thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God bless you. Jesus loves you.